Well, a lot of kids dream of stepping behind the wheel of a race car, pretending to be their favorite driver. But what many don't know is just how much it takes to make a car fire in all cylinders. Well, News 11 Sports got a crash course on what it takes when we tagged along with the Racer X Motorsport crew. In sprint car racing, adrenaline hits you at 100 miles per hour. And that rush stretches far from the track right to the hands that make it all happen. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do what we do. The pit crew is responsible in fueling the car and fixing a tire pressure, but the most important thing they need to do is to make sure that car is clean because this dust right here can cause huge problems to the car. It gets in there, it can clog your fuel system. It could be a, a weld that's cracked somewhere on the car and if Randy would go out and hit something, the car could just fly apart. For Randy Kaler and Racer X Motorsports, work begins days before at their shop in Mannheim. We'll run the valves on the engine, which is basically checking the adjustment. All the tracks that we go to, you know, have their own characteristics. One of the bigger things that we have to make sure we do is change the gear, because the gearing is the most important thing that we change from track to track. Chief Andy will go around the car. He'll take some measurements where some of the suspension settings are, and then we'll be ready to load the car up in the trailer and get all of our gear ready for Saturday night. Race day, though, provides a batch of new challenges for the crew. The tire compound is, is, is a big thing, but until we're actually there and get to run the track, you know, we're not really sure where we need to be with the compound. There, then it comes down to our communication, how well I tell him what the car's doing and what he thinks of how the track, what the track's doing. Well, you know, the track changes uh, from hour to hour. We're always keeping a constant eye on the track to make sure what the what the play looks like. It's always a guessing game. You're constantly trying to match wits with the track. At Lincoln Speedway, Kaler and Co. received a crash course in speedy fix-ups and qualifying after the front end was completely smashed. Nothing even needs to be said. I don't need to tell them what to fix. They see the problems and they attack them and, and get us back uh, ready to race. The front end was fixed. The tires were chosen. All the prep work over. The crew's work was done for the night. The team was at the mercy of the track. The harder tire gamble seemed to be paying off as Kaler started from 11th place, made his push up the field quick, landing himself in six. When the team suddenly saw yellow, the fifth place driver's engine blew up and Kaler was sent spinning on the oil. Tonight you gotta take your lumps and move on to the next one. Get back to the shop and we'll, we'll look the tires over and study them see where our wear pattern was. We'll have more notes and more adjustments that we made that work to add to our to our setup sheets and that'll help us uh, the next time we come back. Victory circle or not, the crew will be back at it tomorrow.